Hello and welcome to the Insane Gorillas podcast where we talk about a different movie each week. This week we are finigi- finishing the trilogy that we've been on the past couple of weeks, Maniac Cop. And I'm, I'm just going to say this is probably the worst one out of any of the movies we've watched. <laughs> Except maybe Han- the Gretel and Hansel movie. But um, <laughs> but this one's just, it's a bad way to end a trilogy, but you got to expect that from franchises sometimes it's just they keep pumping out the same stuff but um before i get into it let's just say new original ideas yeah but let's just go ahead and do a quick please subscribe if you want to see more videos recommend us movies uh after maniac cop so next week we'll be talking about freaky with vince vaughn and then we have no plans after that so recommend us movies for that you want us to see us you want to you want us to review or talk about so let's get on to it then uh but real quick spoilers uh of course we obviously we don't do that (laughs) that often but you're watching a movie review analysis video yeah we're gonna ask good brute yeah we're gonna be spoiling stuff so let's go ahead and get into it shall we uh do you want to start off with anything uh or do you want me oh man you, you, you can start you can, the you can start right. yeah, yeah so this movie starts out with um similar to sort of it's actually it starts out more with the robbery it starts out with a robbery like the first one but instead you get like a really boring scene before that where it's just them shooting and talking and that's what a lot of this movie is it's really it's really slow it's not well paced See, the first one was really quick and fast. It was an 80s movie. It's an 80s action movie. This one is, or the second one was uh, slower, but it felt more like a horror movie with the pacing and suspense where like, it'd be slow at times and then it would pick up when the, murder got in, when the murderer got involved. This one, it's pretty slow throughout. The, yeah. the pacing just doesn't, it just, it just doesn't entertain you as much as the other ones because it kept you on your toes in the other ones and then also excited you. This one, it felt more like uh, n- nothing against The Godfather, but The Godfather is a lot of those really slow scenes where it's a lot of exposition in those scenes. And this is kind of how this movie starts out. You got this first, uh, the first scene in the movie is them talking. It's, uh, I think, Kate and... Um, the officer, the main officer, main protagonist, they're yeah. talking while they're shooting at or practicing their shooting, and then you find out all of a sudden he gives him he gives her a gift, and then oh I guess they're friends because they were talking like they never knew each other before then, and then they all this he all of a sudden gives her a present and then it's just like oh I guess they're friends, but yeah. But also in this movie, you do learn more about Matt Cordell, but you never fully learn his story throughout this whole series. You never really fully learn his stories. It always repeats the same footage over and over again and releasing no new information. Yeah. And it's just it's just the worst because they keep reusing the same information. Same footage, yeah. Same footage, same information. So it's that same shower scene or it's that same <laughs> revenge scene at the end of part two. Uh it's always that, but they never really show... Well, they hint at how he comes back to life, but I don't think that was how he came back to life the first time. I don't think voodoo or like mm-hmm. that religion thing really brought I him back to life the first I time. came back the first time either. Yeah, it just... It just really... Uh, uh, it was just really slow, and the exposition wasn't didn't really reveal anything that was new or that we really wanted to know because we want to know how he was created how he mm-hmm. came back to life the first time how now this came to be. yeah but this one like hints at him okay this voodoo guy he stabs the skull and then all of a sudden he comes back to life but i think that was that i don't think that really had a use to it also it introduces it takes from the part two by adding another serial killer into the into the thing or into the mix uh where okay this voodoo guy's been killing people and he's been cutting people's head off and bringing people back to life or something Mm. and yeah it's just this movie's (laughs) all over the place 
Not to mention that for some reason, every once in a while, they'll cut to mm-hmm. someone mm-hmm. making a one-off joke out of nowhere. Like, it's just, it's just, what, what is this movie? It's just, right. you came from part two, and then you mm. came from the original one, and you decided, okay, let's make this more of a crime movie based on crime, where the serial killers or the murderers or even Mania Cap- Cop has no purpose. They have no motive. They're just, they're just killing without a reason. Well, Maniac mm. Cop has been killing police officers for a reason. He's killed criminals for reasons because he's a police officer and he doesn't see he doesn't have ethics really but he decides to just start killing like (laughs) killing doctors and stuff for no reason yeah doctors nurses he just kills without reason in this one in the other ones he had reasons he's against the police because of the the system that failed him and Mm -hmm. and then the second one he was against really criminals because he wanted to get revenge on the criminals but this one, he just goes and kills doctors and stuff. Doctors that are mm. helping Kate, which, spoiler alert, is his love interest. Um, so, this movie's yeah. all over the place. It's just, really. Yeah, but they, they don't really bring back any of the new, uh, or any of the old characters from the other movies. Uh, so you don't get any Bruce Campbell. You don't get any of those characters. You do get the maniac cop actor. Uh, I think it's Zadard or something. Yeah. yeah uh, you right. get him back. And you can barely tell he's in the costume now because the makeup is all. <laughs> you you barely see his face also. But he's got a lot of makeup on. His face is deteriorating. Which reveals sort of that he's a zombie rather than. he's more He's more like a mind inside of decomposing body see because he still knows what he's doing he still has memories and stuff but unlike zombies zombies just kill because they need to eat brains and stuff they they don't really have thoughts this one Mm -hmm. he's he can think and knows what he's doing but at the same time his body's like dying so yeah it's yeah It's all, this movie is just, it's the worst one out of the trilogy. I don't think, I think if you watch this series, one and two, because two is a good ending. Two is a good ending. He gets his revenge and then also dies in the process of getting his revenge. Yeah. Uh, The book, the book, the book, the book, like the whole story should have been closed at two. And then they got a bunch of money and I'm sure the studio was like, it's like, wow, that was really good. Make another one. (laughs) I don't. But, I I, I actually don't think so. Because if you look mm. at the budget for this movie, it's lower than the lower than the second one, and almost the equivalent to the first one. Well, it, well, it yeah. Feels see, like it has a bigger budget for some reason. Well, no, no, no. See, see, that's the thing. The the fucking they're they're just like they're just like all right. That that second one did pretty good. You know, you got the you got the good ending, and then and then fucking the studio's like, okay, let's let's make another one. Right, and this time we don't have to put that much money into it because they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, oh, what's gonna happen next? And uh, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, how are they gonna, how are they gonna make release another ma- maniac cop movie? How are they gonna do it? Because uh, the story was closed, case closed, and then fucking they went and did it. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it made profit or not. Uh, this one was released in the two thousand, two thousand or so. I thought no, nineteen ninety three. 1993. Yeah, oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, well, them, so. and and that, and in that case, they probably still made a fuck ton of money off of it then, because yeah, those probably. people back then they're 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 all about like, oh, I gotta watch the next one, right? <laughs> yeah, but not a lot of people today are just like, uh, nah, you know what? I'll just stick with the first one. This movie is also the worst reviewed on the in the Maniac Cop series. Uh, yeah. it's got I think two and a half stars out of five and then or two stars out of five and then on top of that it's got a really low rotten tomato score but we don't really take those reviews for ourselves we review it for ourselves ourselves yeah uh, and that's what we're doing here so but this movie unfortunately we are agreeing with them <laughs> yeah we are agreeing with this one uh this movie is 
Mm, it's all over the place. Uh, the story is not well thought out, really. Because they try to introduce... They try to mix the first one and the second one into... Like, mixing Matt Cordell revealing his past and revenge and everything. While also mm. introducing a new serial killer. And it just... It's just too much. It's like watching the Justice League movie. You're introducing too many char- too many new characters. Well, yeah. well, what I think of is uh, the Scream series. Uh, you have that the main character running or main character living and then going to the next one and then living throughout the entire series. Mm-hmm. This one they've killed almost every character in each movie, and. <laughs> they never really bring back any of the characters from the previous. Now Bruce Campbell is a bit of, it, he they brought him back, but they brought him back more as a cameo I think in the second one, mm-hmm. and then he doesn't show up on this one. But the acting in this is uh, it's it's better than the first one, not as good as the second one, but I think it's more the writing, and I feel like they wanted time fillers, so they'd always uh like make a random joke that doesn't fit into a situation such as what is it when they see the dead body with the chicken like with the head cut off they make a joke about oh i guess he lost his head (laughs) what Mm, why that's not i I didn't laugh a single bit during the actual movie no it's not it's not funny and it's the way they present it it's not it's not funny and then they just have a random police officer saying oh i guess he lost his head Actually, I take that back. We had a, we had a couple of drinks, so <laughs> just anything that came at us was fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, I didn't drink while watching this movie, and I feel like if if I had, it would have helped probably. Uh, right? Yeah, it would help you got through it. It definitely helped me get through it. But I'm also thinking, what is it? Um, uh, another joke that didn't really hit well was uh, when I think it's Maniac Cop or. Or might have been the detective runs into the room for like runs in the hospital room holding the prisoners and then the guy's just like it's not me or make some sort of weird joke that it's not it's just <laughs> yeah him like it doesn't doesn't work yeah. absolutely not no it does not <laughs> or i think he ended up uh i think maniac cop ended up going in there throwing the gun on the bed and then walks out and then he all of a sudden says it's not me or something as if he's going to come back in the room and kill him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But they, they have a lot of those and I think they just added them in to increase the time because this, I think is the shortest out of all the maniac cop movies. Second one was an hour Mm -hmm. and 30. This one's an hour and 24. But if you take off credits, it's an hour and 20 hour and 19. So it's definitely the shortest and it's Mm -hmm. has the least amount of content. Mm-hmm. And it's the slowest moving one. Also, it felt m- like it was more like a two hour and thirty minute movie than it than mm-hmm. a one hour and twenty four minute movie. The illusion of time moving slowly in the movie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, for 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 sure, uh, all all the all the points that you made, um, I I completely agree with. I was gonna bring up the uh the one liners, so just oh she's, I. Uh, none no, of the, I none of the I, it, so. I I appreciate the effort of uh you know the the studio being or you know the director just being like okay they want a third one let's go ahead and make a third one and coming up with an uh, uh it's you know back back in the day pretty original idea just like oh they get revived through demonic power you know pretty pretty common now right. Like oh you fucked you fucked with like the sacred burial ground now that he's gonna come back through demonic power right you know so they I I'd, I like to think that they did a pretty good job with coming up with that like the idea of the uh, third movie because you know they they pretty much they they closed it the second movie they they literally probably just wanted to stop there mm-hmm. but you know I I guess you know either the I I don't I don't know if the I don't know if they had the same director throughout. I know a bunch of. I think the director of the second one is also the director of the third one. But oh, I, really? I, I'm mm. not, it's a it's a Cohen. It's a Cohen. Yeah. No, I was, I was just gonna say I I I do know like uh, 
for uh, trilogies or whatever, or, you know, just long ass like series of movies. They like to swish up directors a little bit. So that that I think I think it literally comes down to like the 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 studio that the like directors were like, hey, you need to do another maniac cop movie. The second one did really really good. It's cut it did really good because it closed the story off. What I'm I- I'm sure the third one probably did good too because it was released in 1993 and people are just like the you know. And internet still wasn't too common, right? It wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like you know you couldn't pull it up on your smartphone. Smartphone wasn't there yet, right? You can't just look up a review real quick. You just you're sitting there like, oh, I I gotta go see it, or you know, if your buddy is like, oh, hey, I'm going to the movie theaters this week, this weekend to watch Maniac Cop. You want to come with me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Maniac Cop three, it's gonna be it's gonna be great, right? So, you know, I'm I'm sure I'm sure the third movie did good, but I'm. I'm going to I'm going to say probably uh I'm sure the second movie did a, a lot better, right? Uh in terms of reviews, I'm not sure about sales. I didn't look up any of the statistics on sales and that if I had to guess the third one probably probably got the most money cuz you know, like I said reviews weren't available you know the only the only review that you could get is if your friend had already seen it and told you like no don't go see it it's a waste of money i'll just tell you what happens right what was it so one thing i think that came out of this was or the reason they wanted to make this was to make it a trilogy so that it would sell better because trilogy sell right. better than two movies in a set right. yeah yeah i i understand though that little concept and you know and 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 you know for first uh for most, for most like uh, movies, the, the trilogy thing will will work. But you know, for for here, I honestly think if they would have just stopped that too, it, that would have been it would have been it would have been done sealed. You know, I think I think this movie would be commonly mentioned now. Like, oh, have you seen Maniac Cop? You know, it's a, it's a classic, right? But yeah, that third movie came in people the rub people the wrong way. They're just like, oh, okay, never mind. But. You know, it's that's that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, uh, reusing reusing scenes. You know, I'm all about it. Uh, three movies straight. That I, I, I just can't can't get around that. That also, is also also stealing movies or stealing scenes from the second movie as well as the first one. Yeah, yeah. I I I just can't I just can't get it past that that barrier. That is. I I don't want to I don't want to say that it's lazy, but it's pretty fucking lazy. <laughs> they did. I I understand that you know, they're sitting there like we just gotta get this movie out. We just gotta get done and over with. Let's go ahead and just reuse the movie scenes again. So just in case people don't know what the fuck's going on, and uh, uh just oh man, I I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about just three movies straight. I I I'm a I'm a fan of slashers, but. You know, watching if I if I if somebody is like, "Hey, should I watch Maniac Cop?" I would say yes. One and two. Stop at one. All right, so you you know stop. You know you do first one and you stop at two. Don't go for the third one. Third one, it maybe maybe if you're if you know you're just, you're having having like a, a meme night or something, you're just like, "Oh, let's just watch a bunch of bad movies or something," and then yeah, then you can watch the third one. If yeah. you want, if you want to sit down and genuinely enjoy Maniac Cop the series, you watch one and you watch two. You don't watch you don't watch the third one. You just don't. Well, what is it at, at work? Uh, I have a coworker who said that he's seen Maniac Cop one and two, and then I mentioned Maniac Cop three and how we were going to record this podcast, <laughs> and mm. he's like, "They have a third one? That sounds ooh, sounds a bit weird." And then I said, "Oh, yeah, it no, it is this, a bit weird. It's not just." Uh, Maniac Cop Three. It's also Badge of Silence. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Your coworker. That. That's when you know it's bad. And your coworker didn't hear about it. They didn't hear about it because everybody that saw it was just like, oh man, that's bad. Let's go ahead and spread the word about it. And then it just it just got buried. I. I could not. I could not. Uh, could not tell you. Uh, somebody that would suggest this movie to me. I. I have never heard of it. The only way. The the only reason why we reviewed these movies was because I was I was in uh, I think the last time I saw it saw like the movie just on the random like hotel television it was I was like in Florida or something or no 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 it was, it was Georgia we were almost to Florida and I was in there and I saw it on 
television and you know we're about to go to bed because we just we just got done with a long drive and i saw maniac hop on there and it was the uh i know it was the uh, s- uh second one where he's uh going through like the police station and shit and getting like lit up and i'm sitting there i'm just like i'm like oh yeah like this uh, this this is the uh is, is that the second one i think the first, the first one, one is when he goes through a police station the police second station. one he goes like he's going he's yeah no, no, yeah, no. The first, the first one. He's he's like breaking down through all the like get you know the old police stations where they just had the walking uh, through doors the, and stuff. The, the the yeah the wood and the the gla- the uh the like ah, fucking privacy glass and shit. He's just fucking just going through and he's and they're just like oh fuck man. I was sitting there, I saw that. I'm just like I'm like mani. I look, I clicked the guide. I'm like maniac cop, and then maniac cop two was after it. Maniac cop three was after it. I was sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to remember that because I, I just, as soon as I saw it, I'm just like, this movie screams slasher, and I, I like slasher. Slashers have a special place in my heart, right? Mm-hmm. I was sitting there, I'm like, I'm gonna have to remember that. And now that, now that I'm on this podcast, I was sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, maniac cop, baby, got, gotta watch it, gotta see, see what happened. And uh, like, like, like I said, if you're uh, for any of you viewers out here listening to this, if you're gonna watch this movie, you're gonna you're gonna want to watch the first one, the second one. You don't have to watch the third one. The third one, y- you can. I wouldn't suggest it. If you really, if you really like, if you really like to, you know, just watch bad movies, then yeah, go ahead and just watch it real quick. You know, you want to watch a movie while you're like intoxicated or something, then yeah, go ahead and watch this movie. <laughs> yeah, I but, completely uh, agree. So. Mm. You know, like like Matt said, it's this this movie is really, really, really slow, and it's it just it's, when I was watching this, I'm just like, I'm like, wow, uh, is this the same director as the second one? And as as you just as you just said, uh, I was in there, I'm just like, wow, um, second director and the third, di- and, and or sorry, this you know the director for the second one, the director for the the third one are the same people. That is insane because it feels so different but uh yeah you know uh sound uh you know the music and stuff uh music cues and sound cues you know the uh well shoot what's it called the uh fully yeah that 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 yeah, the yeah the fully sounds are good the uh the music music cues it's giving me it's giving me some bad some bad first first one vibes unfortunately second one second one when they've released that second one movie they clean they clean that shit up they got rid of they got rid of bruce campbell and all of a sudden i'm like oh fuck here we go and they fucking they popped off on that one they they were sitting there like all right here's we're, we're gonna fucking get the story we're gonna end the shit and the fucking they reused the scene, whatever. It was it was it was good. Uh, you know, I'm you know, I'm all I'm all I'm all for it. Like if you do it once, but you know, the third movie was like I was like, all right, let's use scenes from the first one and the second one. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Just just in case I, I, I think I think they're expecting people to see Maniac Cop Three Badge of Silence and being like being like, Oh, I wanna watch this one and then get some backstory while watching the third one. Right. Yeah, but it also feels like it cheapens it almost. It feels like a TV show rather than you know yeah. how a TV show will do flashbacks every like two, two yeah. or three seasons, and I'll be like, oh, mm. remember this? It feels yeah, like remember this episode. It feel like I feel like, it feels like it cheapens the other movies by re- reusing footage right. from them yeah. just to like fill up your time. Mm, uh, yeah, I when 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 the third movie reused both both those scenes. And uh, I'm just it it just sickens me. It's so it's so gross because you're sitting there and you're like they're like wow they're they're trying to they're trying to make this movie. I I have no idea if this was you know the fans wanted a Maniac Cop three or if the director the director's like yeah let's go ahead and start making Maniac Cop three or if the uh, studio is just like hey you have to make Maniac Cop three now. I have I have no idea which which one of those three it was, but uh, they should have stopped, <laughs> stopped the Maniac Cop two and called it. I feel like I feel like if they had stopped the Maniac Cop two, I think I would hear about this movie a little bit more, because I've never wa- have you have you heard this movie at all? Not Maniac Cop not till when you 
not till you sit, talk to me about it. Said, so yeah, 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 right, exactly. I, I I'd never never had seen never had seen it. I only saw just just like two minutes of it, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I've got to put that in the memory bank, and I got to watch that later, whatever I get the chance. And uh, here we are. I watched the first one. Watched the second one. Uh, the first one it was a little. Uh, it was, it was good, and then the second one, we, okay, yeah, we 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 just we just fucked, and then the third one, just oh man, what the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, you know, like, uh, it's just just watch the first one and the second one. That's all I have to say. I can't really, I can't really, uh, say say to somebody, I can't go up to you and be like, hey, watch this third one. This third one is good. I no. It's not good. No. Uh, what is it? Slasher movies have a place in my heart, but this rating for this one's gonna be gonna be low. Yeah, this is probably <laughs> gonna be the lowest one on anything we've done in the podcast so far. Probably. Uh, but what is it? This movie really suffers from the show it don't tell it, or from right. They choose for movies. You know, you show you show the exposition rather than telling it. Because if you want to tell it, you're gonna write a book. You're gonna right. just say it just say what well, all the exposition out now so that's when you go into like narrators or you have these narrators for stories telling the story straight up and just right. directly telling you what this character is about everything about this character uh but mm. this this movie does it does it it's really slow it's just yeah oh here's a paragraph of exposition i'm just going to tell you it instead of showing you it but that's the one thing they've also done with the flashbacks is that they show you it rather than yeah. tell you it. But then also, for some reason, there's some sort of narration <laughs> going yeah. over the top of it. But that's that's what I was also that's what I was going to say. I lost. My, I don't know if you know this, but I lost my train of thought there. I was sitting there like, fuck, what was I thinking about? Like, I, I'm pretty sure I kept on repeating a couple of things. Sorry about that, guys. But I remember now. Uh, so they they're I, I appreciate the idea of uh, trying to throw in those uh reuse scenes just so like somebody can be like be like oh you don't have to watch the the second one or oh you don't have to watch the third one you just go straight to the third one like or sorry the first one you go straight to the third one and and it'll make sense they they reuse those scenes and the only thing that i can think of in my head is just like okay they they want this movie to be like you you don't have to see any of the maniac cop you can watch and you'll just know but the problem with that is the scenes that they reuse doesn't tell at all. So that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, the the scenes they show, like the scene of him catching on fire in a in the prison and just walking through it, doesn't really mm. describe anything because it doesn't talk yeah, about exactly. his revenge, how right. he was gaining rev- or getting revenge at that point. Mm-hmm. And, the, and they're then also, they're sitting there. The scene where there, he walks like, in the shower is also. Mm one right yeah no so they're like the the only the only i the only the only thing i can think of when they do reuse scenes is because they're trying to be like okay you can watch this without watching any of the other ones which i appreciate sometimes you know i appreciate if you're doing your sequel i'm sitting there i'm like okay i I got a little bit of backstory from that that's fine but just with how many how many scenes they reused and you know like you like you said they they showed then tell them anything though people are gonna see that and they're gonna be like okay well i have to go watch the second one and the first one now because you know they have to ask their friend like hey what was that from they're like oh that was from the first one the second one why the fuck did they show that in there they didn't say anything and then they're like oh you have to watch the first one and the second one and then they're gonna watch the first one the second one and be like wow the third one's fucking trash (laughs) But I also feel what? like if if you watch the third one, you're not going to be really interested in watching the other ones because oh yeah, I feel like you watch the second one, you're going to be interested in watching the first one, or you yeah. watch the first one, you're going to want to watch the second one. Yeah, uh, I feel if like you watch this the third one, you're going is the Sorry, equivalent to uh, the movie Hannibal Rising or the Hannibal Rising book and movie because it, mm-hmm. it, yeah, it's just trash. It's just them trying yeah. to make a quick buck, but. I think that's all I have to say about this movie is that it's not good. I th- I'd say, yeah. I'd say it's above Gretel and Hansel because Gretel and Hansel is all over the place. But this one, mm. but I'm still gonna rate this one lower than Gretel and Hansel. 
because mm. I feel like they could have done so much better with this. Gretel and Hansel, they they took the Hansel and Gretel story and just tried to go their own way with it. This yeah. one, they stole so many ideas from the other stuff. So, now you got to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> That you got to cut that out. Do you have a lock on the door? <laughs> no, I don't have a lock on the door, Matt. If I had a lock on the door, my door would be open, Matt. Hey, easy thing to do is you switch the desk side. You see the desk on your side. You switch that where your piano is. You can talk to the person off camera. Just, right, I could, I could do that's that. That's how that's but... how mine is. I'm positioned in the corner so I can talk to someone over here. But the, the problem with that is, background. but the problem with that is, is that this desk is long as fuck. It, it might not look like it, but I got right now my my uh, web my webcam is on a fucking like Roku TV. So, <clears throat> yeah, wait, this, you're using this, a TV as your monitor? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's a Roku TV. So like the the fucking the resolution is actually like really good on it. It's not nice. that bad. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's kind so, of fucky, but nah, it's not too bad. No, but uh, yeah, you have to cut that out. I'm sorry, but that meant. Yeah, this uh, this movie is, it's not. Don't start with this movie. Don't uh, skip this movie. Just, I don't think you should really watch this movie if you're wanting to stay interested in Maniac Cop and the storyline. I did think yeah. though, while watching this movie, Maniac Cop would make a really good remake. Oh, absolutely. I think yeah, I, re- I feel like I feel like revamp hmm. it, make Maniac Cop, especially in this time where we're dealing with police and stuff. I think Maniac mm. Cop would be pretty good. Um Right, yeah. To deal with that with our uh social problems and our problems with police and violence right. and stuff. I think this yeah, would I'm, be really good to like sure. revamp and just make it your own, but also change the story up. Because mm-hmm. I feel like the runtime for the movies in this series, they're too, they're they're not long enough. Yeah, I feel like they no, could absolutely. be longer. You could reveal more story or more of the story of Matt Cordell. Um, mm-hmm. I just feel like, hey, this would work really well in a remake. Uh, of course, uh, I'm going to have people disagreeing with me, but I think this is probably the best thing they could remake at this point in time. Um, yeah, that for sure. Yeah, so do you want to go ahead and get into re- into uh, the reviews? Ratings? Uh, uh, yeah, ratings, the... uh, whatever. Yeah. Do right. you want to start? Sure. Uh, for Maniac Cop uh, 3, Badge of Silence, my, uh, my rating is going to be pretty low. It's going to be pretty silent. I'm going to have to give this movie a uh, 2 out of 10. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, I agree with the two out of yeah. ten. So, mm. well, yeah. why? Do you, what are your uh, main points for why? My 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 main points is that they they should have just stopped at the second one. The, honestly, honestly, I don't even want to rate this movie. I just want to push the movie aside and be like, okay, this doesn't exist. But unfortunately, it exists, and you know they made the movie. They they put in some kind of fucking effort and i i don't know for for the time for the time that it was you know 1993 and i'm sure that i mean they wrapped it up in the second one so i can only assume that the studio was like hey make a third one or you know you're you know we, we need another movie so make another one and they can't deny them so they were just like yeah we'll go ahead and make it and unfor- unfortunately they 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 wrapped off the second one, right? You know, they fucking they put the cap on the fucking bottle and they were just like, "All right, that's it. It's done." You know, we don't have to we don't have to put any more sh- you don't have to put any more fucking liquid in there. Or right, any more any more movies, any more stories and then they the the fucking I I can like I said, it it might not be the studio, but you know, I I know I know I know I know fucking the uh, there are some studios out there that are pretty well known for that, where they're just like, "Hey, do this again, right?" And so they just had to do it again. They opened it up and overfilled it. Honestly, it was just perfect the way it was with the first and the second one. So, 
I like like I said, I just don't even want to rate this movie. I just wish I hadn't watched it, but here we are. So here we are reviewing the fucking movie. So yeah, my rating, honest rating for this movie, even though the Slashes have a special place in my heart, two out of ten. This just don't watch it. The movie shouldn't even be in this series. Yeah, uh I agree with everything you said. Uh and I feel like mm-hmm. they for some reason ro- the thing that really separates Maniac cop one and two from three is that maniac cop one and two had introduced characters from the second one in the first one this one introduces none of those characters like you all of a sudden find out maniac cop had a relationship with this girl kate or this officer kate and it's just out of nowhere it makes no sense (laughs) and it's just just the storyline is terrible kate or (laughs) Kate has no point really in the story. It's just no, a thing really. to push it sort of along, except she's right. not the protagonist. I feel like she would have been better as a protagonist rather than the, yeah. the, 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 the girl in the hospital the whole time. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's a two out of 10 for me. Yeah. No, that's completely understandable. This movie just, Ooh, geez. Yeah, uh, I cannot believe it. Yeah. Uh do we have any recommendations? Uh my recommendation, The Lighthouse. <laughs> You're gonna keep doing that until we watch it. I'm gonna uh, keep doing that until we watch that damn thing. I I'm like psychological horrors. And recommend Freaky our Freaky next week's film. I've seen it I think twice so far. Oh geez. It's, it's really good. Up. It's it's really oh, I, good I bet. and it's different. If or it feels different. Uh, but it uses tropes and stuff in different ways, but it mm. also is sort of like a parody of other slasher movies like Friday the 13th, uh, Halloween. Mm. It's just, I, I think it's going to be a really fun film, especially after this, <laughs> this dog after water this. film. Yeah. Uh, but for sure, the, the only thing we can wish for is we get some better movies than this in the future, but <laughs> not every movie Sorry. is perfect. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, uh, watching this, this was my idea. We got the uh, first one, second one. That was good. I did not know the third one was going to be that bad. Should have just stopped. <laughs> Should have stopped at the first and the second one. Yeah. But, you know, we got we to let the audience know that, you know, this movie's bad. Don't watch it. Just watch the first and the second one. Now you guys know. Now you guys don't have to suffer. And if you want to suffer, watch the third one. Up to you. Yep. Just go watch it. Tell us for yourself. Give us your ratings in the comments below. Yeah, tell us what you think. Maybe this is your favorite film of all time. Uh, and for those who actually say that, I hate you. I'm just going to say that. Why do you like this film? <laughs> tell me. But tell me. Tell me what, tell me what we missed. I anyone's going to like this film. And if I am wrong, tell me that I am wrong. Uh, tell me why it's your favorite film. And maybe we can find reasons to like it. Maybe we can find some uh, common ground. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe you have a really well, specific reason. We might have to do a like revisit it. episode. <laughs> yeah, we might do a revisit episode. We might do one for uh, Gretel and Hansel at some point, too, if mm. anyone wants to talk about that. But let's go ahead and end it here. Uh, yep. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We will be doing Freaky next week. Uh, recommend your favorite films for us to tear apart, trash, throw in the garbage, step on. Uh, I basically hate. No, I'm just kidding. But um, tell us your favorite films you want us to review and analyze in the future. So I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. So bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.